the purpose of Vilmar, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain. We're going to talk about that tonight. On the report from Tiger Mountain, you may have noticed that Bill Meyer has seemed to have been sort of at least partially red-pilled of late and is kind of attacking uh, many aspects of the new left. So we're going to talk about what he might be up to here on the report from Tiger Mountain. Stick around. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, what's up with Bill Maher? That's a very good question. Um, a lot of people have noticed that, uh, I mean, you know, I think this guy for a long time has, has held a kind of a right-wing liberal position. Um, and obviously there are many people who are liberals who tend to lean right. And so it's not really that unusual. Um, you know, he hosted that show Politically Incorrect and he seemed rather fond of politically incorrectness at times. During the Trump time, he seemed to tow the party line, which was very much anti-Trump 24 seven all the time so that the cabal could get rid of him. Um, but uh, obviously, now they've gotten rid of him, um, uh, Trump anyway, and they've put in their uh, stooge, uh, Joe Biden, they seem to want to sort of, I guess, um, what you would call regain the ground of, of some of the kind of um, new right and a kind of right-wing liberalism. Uh, you know, some of the stuff that Jordan Peterson talks about and many others. And um, I think Bill Maher is attempting to do that. He's attempting to kind of um, save a kind of uh, what you call a right-wing version of neoliberalism. And he's taking many of the ideas that were popular with Trump, though he constantly hates Trump and he still hates Trump to this day, he will uh, embrace many of the ideas of Trump and make out that they are kind of part of the neoliberal order anyway, the right-wing version. And, the, you know, the, and he's also constantly attacking um, cancel culture at the moment, which is, a, which is a good thing. I mean, I've agreed with him on many of these things, but I think it's a very cunning plan. Um, you know, he's a, he's a Jewish um, uh, late-night talk show host. There are a number of them in America who spout, uh, many of them spout the ideas of the new left, but he's somebody uh, who, who spouts some of the ideas of the new right, at least, and obviously many of the ideas of neoliberalism. Um, and I think, you know, the idea is to regain the ground, to say that these ideas are really part of the neoliberal order and we don't need to see anything like Trump again, which is something we don't control, which is something that seems to be acting beyond the can of our cabal. And uh, obviously, you know, that was clearly what scared the living shit out of them with Trump and why they hated him so much it was the idea that they didn't necessarily control him they did control him to some extent obviously through people like uh, Kushner and people like that but they obviously didn't have full control of Trump and I think that's why they made him nervous because their whole idea um, because these people are so weak um, their whole um, uh, what you call it, reason for being reason d'etre is um, about control because they fear anything when they lose control and when they don't control something they fear it because they figure well it'll work out what's going on and it'll come for us and that may well be true. Um, so I think that's what Bill Maher is up to and um, I think he's trying to regain the, some of the ground uh, of the new right and some of the ideas of Trump and the MAGA crowd for kind of neoliberal, a right-wing version of neoliberalism. Um, and I think it's completely deliberate. Um, I don't think it's necessarily something we have to reject because some of his ideas, as I said, uh, have been have been interesting and he's certainly playing to a liberal audience, so he'll be red-pilling some of them. So I don't think it's necessarily a terrible thing, but we should see what's going on. And again, that's all I wanted to say uh, and have you thinking about these things here on the report from Tiger Mountain. Thank you for listening.